me. I'm your friend. Black for your life! Finger five on him. to him. I'm sorry, Lucas, but either Kong wears the control collar Richard made for him, or he... Just relax. As long as your ape behaves himself, we'll never have to use this. But if he does get out of hand, the pain I can inflict will bring Kong to his knees. Dad, you know Kong doesn't deserve this. This is so wrong. I can't watch. Hey, buddy. I know how you feel. Amy made me wear a tie once. Totally hated it. <laughs> Help! <laughs> it's okay. But you better leave that collar alone. You don't look so bummed. At least now the Remy's can start turning this rock into Kong Island. Finger five? Come on, man, give it up. Because very soon, you're gonna be a full-blown superstar. Just don't forget, I knew you win. Can you believe how fast this place is coming together? Okay. But you must admit, he is quite the hero. He's nothing but a dumb ape. Look at him. He's pathetic. By my calculations, that dumb, pathetic ape just saved you 20 man hours of highly skilled labor. Then wait until you see this. I remember when you were a boy, you said your inventions would one day surpass mine. <laughs> Congratulations, son. You've finally done it. <laughs> Dr. Remy, what are you doing here? You are too pale. You should be in bed eating the chicken soup I made for you. I, I'm fine, Anita. Just, just a little tired is all. For so many months now, you are working much too hard. All of you. Not me. I have an inexhaustible energy source. <laughs> I bet you do. Okay. Richard, we're ready for this big show you've been promising. Bartilla, activate the mobile control panel. This is what everyone will witness at tomorrow's grand opening of the Remy Natural History and Marine Preserve. Why can't that guy ever just call it what it is? Kong Island. <laughs> Whoa. Lucas, Earth to Lucas, are you okay? I was just remembering how fun it was being a kid with Kong. He's still like a big kid. Get ready! You are about to see what I am certain the media will call the greatest attraction in theme park history. Perfect! 
Aren't they realistic? This is the reaction I'll get tomorrow from the media and guests. Richard, are you... <coughs> are you absolutely certain it will be completely safe for the public? Of course. Don't you trust me? I think he's after me! Stop that, you dumb ape, before you damage it! Make that expensive toy of yours back off before someone gets hurt! Bring it down. Negative. Not possible. There is no override button. <laughs> Pterodactyl was programmed to lead the air show tomorrow. There isn't nearly enough time to replace it. That filthy ape destroyed everything again! Now it will be fine. You still have many more pterodactyls. Plus, I'm sure everyone will be awed by all your other amazing creatures. You know, Richard, if you don't want Kong to break your toys, maybe you shouldn't use them to torment him. Everyone who is anyone is here. The mayor, governor, and frankly, too many movie stars and celebrities to count. All here to congratulate Dr. Leo Remy on his latest and unquestionably greatest achievement. In addition to becoming a sanctuary for many of the world's remaining endangered species, a massive aquarium encircles the island, created to protect all kinds of marine life. The Remy Natural History and Marine Preserve already more commonly referred to as Kong Island, is also home to many extinct species, such as prehistoric dinosaurs, pterodactyls, triceratops, and even Tyrannosaurus rex. Of course, they are all just harmless bionobots created by Dr. Richard Remy. Like the terrifying megalodons and other prehistoric sea creatures, and even a monstrous giant squid, programmed to shock and delight visitors arriving on the monorail. Everyone is suitably awed by all of the life-size dinosaurs and marine monsters. <laughs> but clearly, everyone has come to see Kong, the one and only living, breathing king of the apes. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a real crowd pleaser. Your dad looks pretty pleased, too. Well, Dr. Remy, you pulled it off. Congratulations! It's definitely a monumental day for the Remy family. Yeah. So, I wonder where Richard is. I figured he'd be eating up all this press. It seems very few people are interested in your artificial dinosaurs now that Kong has appeared. Everything would be different if they'd been able to witness my spectacular pterodactyl air show. Perhaps. However, for some incalculable reason, humans are not simply fascinated by Kong. They are drawn to him. Because most of them are just ignorant fools, willing to pay to watch a freak of nature with less intelligence than a three-year-old. Ordinary people, like my brother, are weak and deserve to become extinct. The same as all the useless creatures he's always trying to save. Bionics and robotics are the future. I will not argue with that. And one day, I will prove it to him and the world. Congratulations, Dr. Remy, on your phenomenal success. Uh, now, most of the credit goes to my two sons, Lucas and Richard who I know will keep my dream alive long after I am gone. Nearly one year to the day that the Remy Natural History and Marine Preserve opened, its founder, Dr. Leo Remy, has passed. <laughs> I miss him too.
I'll make your dream come true. You mean yours. Find someplace else to put that thing. Construction on my new dinosaur habitat starts today. Lucas didn't say anything about moving the seal. I'm the boss while my brother is away. What are you doing? Don't tell me you're trying to take away this poor creature's habitat. It's okay, Abe. The seal is staying right here. We are supposed to be entertaining our visitors. One useless seal is about as exciting as watching paint dry. Animals aren't just for your entertainment, Richard. And anyway, don't worry. Jonesy and I plan to rescue a lot more. You could have a hundred, but it can't compare to the prehistoric shark show I've designed. <laughs> yeah, right. A fake-looking old shark. You keep forgetting. Dad's dream was for us to save as many animals as we can from extinction. I suppose one of them did that to you? No, the poachers trying to exterminate her did. Which is why we need more sanctuary space, not less. Which is what I came to talk about in the first place. On the flight home, I decided to go over the books. Turns out you've already exceeded your Bionobot budget by several million. You can't stop me. We're equal partners, equal vote in the business. You forget, Dad left Anita 10%. Anita agrees with me. The real animals come first. And don't even think about trying something like this again when I'm away on a rescue mission. This isn't over. Actually, it is, Richard. So live with it. And now, I've got to go see how the Ligers we rescued are doing. <gasps> ligers? Bottilla! Bottilla? Where is that blast bot? I can't believe I'm going to get a chance to communicate with a real live hybrid. I wonder which language is going to speak, lion or tiger? <laughs> Maybe you can ask her. <laughs> everyone, we do not want to frighten the cats. Oh, what are their names? Your sister decided that since she's such a beautiful and majestic creature, we should call her Lady. Sweet. So how come you guys had to rescue Lady? Unfortunately, some people think it's cool to have an exotic pet. Then when they discover how dangerous they can be, they release them into the wild without realizing most of these animals never learn to survive in nature, especially not with poachers hunting them. back off. Danny, see if you can talk to her. All right. <laughs> Had a girl. Whoa. <laughs> That's one big putty cat. It's okay now. She gets that you're just an overgrown softie. And so is this lovable little fella. <laughs> they were very lucky you found them when you did. Another day and... Hey! That's a perfect name for you. Lucky. Uh, Kong wants to feed him. Okay, but be very careful. You don't want to scare him. You're right, Amy. Something's off. I've examined Kong repeatedly and found no physical reason for his attitude shift. He could just be missing Lucas and Danny. It's the first time your brother's been away since you got here. I know. Danny couldn't pass up the chance to see what's left of the Amazon. Lucas has even begun teaching him to fly. I've never seen a big guy act like this. Maybe we should call them back. Why not get Danny on the hollow screen? See if he can read Kong or whatever he does. Let's do it. So we're hoping Danny can tell us what's wrong. Uh, afraid we can't come back yet. They're clear-cutting one of the last sections of rainforest, and we're hoping to get there before the poachers close in. But I can try talking to Kong over the link. See if I can get the big guy to tell me what's up. Okay, here you go. <gasps> come on, Kong. Don't you want to say hi to Lucas and Danny? Yo, Kongo! You bent out of shape because I took off with your bro? <laughs> Promise I'll make it up to you with the biggest super-sized banana smoothie on the planet. I can't believe Kong would blow me off like that. I think we better move Lady and her cub out of Kong's habitat. Just in case. Maybe we should come back right now. 
I hate to see you abandon the mission when you're so close. We'll keep a sharp eye on Kong, but if he gets any worse, then you better come back. <laughs> Now that I know my do-gooder brother is far enough away, it's time to really amp things up. Increasing the frequency on Kong's control collar. Wait, wait! Not quite yet. I just wanted to be certain that it will work. We don't want Amy telling Lucas we need to close the park tomorrow because his star attraction is actually a deadly savage. Turn it off. For now. I warned Lucas it wasn't over, but it will be very soon. Well, I was monitoring Kong all night. He seemed totally normal. It definitely looks like he's back to his old self. Maybe it was just a bug. <laughs> oh yeah, the big guy's back. Good thing too, because the ticket office says the place is gonna be jammed. Apparently Richard ran some kind of one-day only special promotion deal that's packing them in even tighter than usual. The monorail has stopped running. The island is now filled to capacity. Well then, it's showtime! ago to say Kong's going berserk and that everyone's in grave danger. But how did Richard... It just started. Oh! Amy! I'm okay, but we need your help. We're just outside San Francisco. Last night, Danny and I both had the feeling we needed to get back. I just hope it will be soon enough. Go! <laughs> still increase his pain by two full decimals. Not just yet. I wouldn't want to accidentally put the beast down too quickly. I am unable to compute your logic. My extraordinary Bionobots need to save these people from the savage monster, making me the hero of the hour. Admirably diabolical. I am programming them to destroy only their primary target. Kong. Remain calm. I am Dr. Richard Remy. Do not fear. My Bionobot will stop calm. He's right. Thank
no, no! That thing's gonna destroy him! We have to do something! Believe me, Danny. I wish we could.